Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. Spring is in the air and Easter is hopping right around the corner. Today I'm going to be making some aesthetic Easter decorations. No matter your style, whether it's minimalist, bohemian or vintage inspired, I've got something for everyone. Grab your craft supplies and let's get right into the first project. To create the egg shape pot, I start with mixing glue with water. It's a PVA glue, which is a, just a white school glue. I mix it with water as I want it to be quite runny. Don't worry about the proportions, it will work anyway. You will also need a balloon. Blow it up to the size you want your sculpture to be. Tear toilet paper into single sheets. I'm using three ply paper. As one side has some design on it, I will be putting this side down. I apply some of my mixture onto a balloon and then put a piece of toilet paper on it. I make sure the whole piece is wet and stick it to the balloon. Then I take another piece and glue it to the balloon as well. I always make sure that the pieces are overlapping each other. This way I cover almost the whole balloon, I leave only the top of it. I swap the paintbrush to little sponge. Wet toilet paper is quite fragile and tears apart easily. Sponge is more delicate. I can't tell you exactly how many pieces of paper I've used. You have to judge it by yourself. Make sure the layer is quite thick so the whole construction will be stronger. Also try to do it evenly. Once you are happy with it, leave it on the side till fully dry. Mine took about two days. At first place it this way to create straight bottom. Once it's fully dry and hard, remove the balloon by cutting its end and letting the air go out. To make it look like a cracked egg, I cut its edge. If you want, you can leave it as it is or paint it in your favorite color. Cute and so inexpensive decoration. Of course, try to avoid contact with water. For my next project, I will use this silicone mold which I bought online. It has three different shapes of rabbit. And as we all know, a rabbit uh, is associated with Easter. As the shapes are really small and delicate, I decided to use air dry clay for filling. At first, I used plaster, but that didn't go well. At first, I squeeze in the clay as much as I can to make sure it fills up all the holes. Then I remove the excess and make it smooth. I let it dry for a couple of hours, just for the edges to go harder and then I gently remove it. Clay is still wet, so try not to touch the rabbit too much to not to lose all the details on it. Before you leave it to dry, try to smooth out the edges around. And once they are dry, I take a gold acrylic paint and paint them. I found this uh, cute little frame in charity shop. 
I make new white background for it. I try to spread my rabbits evenly and then glue them to the paper. My next two projects are something very quick and inexpensive to make. Little decorations blend with other things will create full and eye-catching piece of decor. Using wooden pegs I will create carrots. I remove the metal part and glue two wooden parts together with the straight side. By blending red and yellow paint, I got an orange color. I paint my new carrot shapes all around. To create carrot uh, greens, uh, I use jute yarn. I cut out longer piece, make knot in the middle and glue it to my orange part. For my next quick project, I will be using styrofoam egg and jute yarn. I start from the egg stop and wrap the whole shape in this yarn. To create the ears, I will need metal wire. You can roughly measure how big you want it to be by bending it and putting it next to the egg. I make small dot of glue and wrap the yarn around the wire. Leave both ends undone. Bend it to the shape of the ear and push it in inside your egg. If you want, you can secure it with the glue. Repeat the process with the second ear. I hope you all enjoyed these Easter DIY projects and feel inspired to create some beautiful decorations for your own home. I will leave the link down below to my Easter playlist full of DIY ideas. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more creative content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.